In this video, I want to share with you why Trio Y Flex is one of the most underrated formations in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we are going to be breaking down the Trio Y Flex formation. You can find this formation in a couple of playbooks, but the best playbook, in my opinion, for it is actually the uh, New York Giants offensive playbook. I actually think the New York Giants offensive playbook is one of the most underrated playbooks in this game. And we are going to be talking about why I absolutely love this formation. Now, you don't only just in the, the cool part of the Giants playbook is you don't just have this trio I flex. Um, you also actually have a very good bunch. Uh, let me show you a couple of things with their bunch here real quick. Uh, number one, you've got mesh spot, you got spacing switch, but most importantly, this play FL pivot. Uh, this play FL Pivot is probably the most uh, underrated bunch money play in the game. Uh, I broke it down uh, earlier here on the YouTube channel. So if you want to look back in the archives, you can find this. Um, it's got dig return. It's got Z spot. It's got Z spot and go speed dig 518 hook and then flanker drive. It's got that skinny post concept. It's got flood. Uh, so it's got, of course, verticals. So to me, the bottom line is this bunch is actually really, really good. Now, it doesn't just have gun bunch. It also has uh, the gun tight Y off, which you're starting to see a lot of Madden players uh, really kind of gravitate to this formation. This formation is very good. It's got great pass protection. It's got about three to five really unique routes in it that you can't really get any other formation. Uh, so my point is the New York Giants playbook's got a lot to offer. Okay. Uh, now I wanted to talk today specifically about the Trio Y Flex, and if you want to get my entire Gun Trio Y Flex offensive ebook, I am going to put a link to that in the description. Um, I believe that the Trio Y Flex gives you the best spacing that you could possibly get in this game. It combines concepts from Gun uh, Trips Tied In as well as Gun Trips, and I just absolutely love the spacing that I can I can access from this from this uh, formation. So if you want to get access to the ebook, like I said, it's in the description below. Um, and then we're just going to set a couple audibles here. But I wanted to go over something really important uh, about this play. And that is how you can actually pick up a lot of pressure uh, with one little adjustment. So uh, I'm going to come out. My favorite play in the formation is PA crossers. And it is primarily because of the fact that I can pick up pretty much the majority of what people are going to do from a pressure perspective uh, within this within this formation. So let me, just, let me just show you kind of what I'm talking about. So the meta blitz here in this year's game is this right here, this little five-man uh, money blitz here out of the 335 wide. And what you're going to notice whenever I go to this PA crossers is that blitz really doesn't work. As you can see right there, I'm able to throw the ball, and I'm only blocking my running back. Now, um, this blitz is kind of notorious uh, for, if you will, whenever the opponent decides they're going to block their running back, uh, this blitz is very notorious for glitching that out. Let me show you what that looks like here. You're going to see against this the glitch of the blocked running back. The problem is, what people don't understand about the blocking mechanics in this game, is if I do that out of play action, and not just out of play action, but out of a uh, like a canceled play action, I'm gonna have a lot of success. You see how that running back's gonna pick that guy up, and now I can absolutely you know dot up with a four man route combo uh, out of this formation. Now the beauty of this is this allows me a lot of flexibility. Another reason why I really like this formation, and I'm going to give you a route combo in this in just a second uh, that I think you should test out. Um, but another reason why I really like this formation is because of where this tight end is located. You're going to notice that he is not outside of the formation, but he's also not attached to the formation. And so what that means is if I were to put him on a uh, hot route, if I have hot route master and I put him on a crosser, you're gonna notice here that he's gonna be able to go on a very deep crossing route, as opposed uh, to being able only able to go on kind of shorter crossing routes. Let me show you an example of that. I'm gonna audible over here to the trio offset, and you're gonna notice that now when I put him on a crossing route, you're gonna notice that it's a much shorter uh, route. So that is another reason why I really like this, because I get really good pass protection, right? I'm gonna get good pass protection. Um, another little cool trick of the trade here is I can actually use this this guy right here as a pass protector. So um, let's say I'm getting a blitz that I don't really like. I can motion this guy to the right. And if I time my snap here, you're gonna see he's gonna block the blitz and then it's gonna give me time and I'm gonna be able to deliver 
to that tight end. So uh, to me, this is one of the many reasons why this formation is so effective. Now, uh, the route combination that I wanted to talk about in today's video um, is an oldie but a goodie. It's it's very good, especially with this crossing route to the tight end. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the tight end on a crossing route. We are going to put the circle receiver on a drag, and then we're going to put the triangle receiver on a post or a curl or a deep dig. All of you could do any of those three options. What you're going to see here is you're going to be obviously able to pick up uh, any kind of pressure that they might bring your way, and then you can hit that post if it is man coverage. Obviously, you got your tight end crosser. One of my other favorite things about this play right here, and why I like it so much, um, is you know regardless of the shell, regardless of the cover. Uh, regardless really of what the defense does uh, this play has a lot of potential so um, this little post this deep skinny post here over the top is probably my one of my favorite bomb routes in the game and the reason why is because it's a lot deeper than the standard skinny post that you get out of trips and so what you get a lot is you get a lot of these new type plays uh, where that that route just absolutely obliterates um, the majority of what people are wanting to do uh, on the defensive side of the ball now I'm going to show you how this play of this route combination works against cover three. This is kind of like a shallow cross type of route combination, if you will. Um, really, your first read is actually going to be the drag. You're trying to hit this drag if there's no hard flat defender on the right side. Take a look at what this does against cover three. This is another reason why I like this formation so much. It's really easy to bomb cover three. It's actually really easy to bomb every coverage in the game from this. And as you can see right there, we're able to bomb cover three uh, with, a, with a setup and a route combination that most people wouldn't say, you know what, that's a cover three beater it actually is because again of how good of a route that post route is uh in the ebook we actually show you some ways that you can kind of snap throw that post route and use it to manipulate pretty much any other coverage in the game here um, but the other reason why i like this is specifically against mabel coverage you're going to see that that post route just gets over the middle in a real nice little soft spot if you don't have hot wrap master uh, my personal recommendation would be to go ahead and put him on a smart routed in route and i'm going to show you you what that looks like uh here in just a second so again we're going to motion him over you know and again do something like this right here i would really recommend that you have some kind of route ability on that tight end right there because this crosser here is so good um they're going to have to do 30 yard cloud flats and to be quite honest with you um that's going to open up a lot of other possible options uh, i talked about a route combination earlier this week um that is really really effective uh, for someone that is running a lot of 30 yard cloud flat type of uh, setup and then cover four drop uh, this is very good against cover four drop uh, what you're going to see uh, is again we're going to put that post or that in route it, it's really it's really up to you it could be a post it could be in route it doesn't really matter um, it's still going to work basically the same but if you watch this deep skinny post you're going to see right here this time the safety is going to go back to it but i just want you to see how deep that gets if they bust a coverage if that's a if that's anything other than a quarter zone um you're going to have a lot of success we have several setups in the ebook that uh, are going to show you how to bomb cover four drop you literally can bomb every single coverage from this but if you're getting a lot of cover four to, uh, drop type of stuff what you're going to notice is how much more effective your like skinny po or your little post to miller is your deep crosser your drag is going to be something they're going to have to worry about because the other thing that i didn't really hit on um is that if they're running cover four drop oftentimes what you're going to see especially if it's somebody like you know especially if it's you know like i said if it's someone that you know kind of knows what they're doing they're going to run cover four drop but they're going to put hard flats on the field and so what you'll see is those hard flats will sit out there and then you can hit that post right in that area so this is one of my of, of it's just one uh concept but in our ebook we talk so much about this formation I, and i have to tell you um it just for kicks and giggles you got a quick base and i would tell i really put up uh, a fight to tell you that the the blocking that you get from this quick base is the best blocking in the game why because it's very difficult to shoot the gap because you can run it outside you can run it inside you can also cut it back uh, against the grain so guys if you want to learn my entire gun trio y flex offensive ebook 
or if you want to just take your game to the next level and you want to get access to all of my ebooks for one low price of ten dollars uh, i would really encourage you uh, to join our patreon for just 10 bucks a month you're going to get instant access to all my ebooks all my exclusive tips all my pro player film breakdowns and all of that stuff so if you want to get access to that there's a link in the description below so if you want to sign up for the patreon you want to learn this offense head on down to the description click that link and we'll get you signed up for the patreon it's 10 bucks a month you can cancel whenever you'd like so again if you want to get the offense head on down to the link in the description and uh, check out that patreon